We didn't know it was gonna come up a storm today. Look how big that hail is, my car. Listen at it. Car. Gosh, look at that hail. M Mama, my car. Hold this. Did you see how big that hail was? Good morning, everybody. Look, Bradley is cooking me eggs. Thank you so much for cooking me eggs this morning. How did you know I wanted eggs? Because, Mom, I'm a good daughter. Why are you cooking me eggs? I'm not. Why? <laughs> she didn't tell me you wanted eggs. See, they're not for me? No. Who are they for? Me. And? Me. I'm just joking. I don't want any eggs. Um, I gotta fix Aiden something though, because he's already been like, I want my food. After ending the vlog last night, Aiden came and told me that he had a headache, but I kind of expected him to. The house we went to yesterday to get the photo shoot done for Briley's headshots, they had a dog. And I was kind of worried that he might would have a little allergic reaction to it because if you didn't know, he's allergic to dogs as well. He's not highly allergic, but enough to get a headache. Um, and I know you're like, well, you guys have dogs, so that makes no sense. Well, our dogs, if you didn't know, they are hypoallergenic. That's what they label them as because they have more human-like hair versus fur. Um, I know it sounds crazy. What? Can you have a plate? Yes. But he's never had issues with our dogs, plus I think just growing up around our animals. So I think he's just used to our dogs because ever since the baby we've had Charlie and he's not had any reaction to ours. But um, going to someone else's home, things like that, do irritate his allergies, different allergies within the air, and yeah, they had two dogs. So I'm sure that's what it was, but it wasn't bad. So I'm very thankful for that. I gave him a little Tylenol, put him to bed, and he went right to sleep and he slept all night and he feels great today. He's upstairs, I think, playing in his room. So I'll show you him shortly. Oh gosh, that's what I'm saying. Right. Um, so, um, oh my gosh, mom's gonna kill me in the morning. Cause like, yeah, wow. you know that you told me we had to wake up early, you know, to get stuff done. Well, I was laying there last night and I finished reading my book. Found out she was making a sequel. She had already started the sequel of the book, so I started reading that. Mm -hmm. And then I found some other book. I found another book that people were telling me that was good. So I started reading that, and I wasn't even tired. I was like, gosh, it's like one in the morning. I need to go to bed. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I just can't. Well, I looked at the clock, <laughs> and it was more like four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Briley Ann, why are you going to bed so late or early? Whatever no, you want to call I it. Didn't mean to. I literally thought it was one o'clock because I wasn't tired at all. I was like, I'm not even tired. Like, how are you not it's tired? Only, I only had a long day. I yesterday. know. I was like, it's only one o'clock. And so I looked at my phone. I was like, it's four o'clock in the morning. So I'm ready to sound it. like me, which I try not to do that very often. I don't ever. I barely ever make it to four o'clock. I usually make it to like three, and then I go to bed. You must but, not have been tired. So is no, that why so you were kind of grouchy this morning? Yeah, because I didn't end up going to bed till like actually 4.30 because I finished reading like the for the chapter. I was like, I'm going to finish reading this chapter and then I'll go mm -hmm. to, because the chapters are short. So I was like, I'm going to go finish reading this chapter and then I'll go to bed. So I finished reading the chapter and then I went to bed and yeah. Good morning, Kayla. Can I show you? Yes, please. Do you want me to show me with my makeup on? Good morning. Are you washing all your sheets mm -hmm. and stuff? Yeah. I don't know. Nice. We have left the house, as you can see, we're in the car. And where are we, Riley? Costco. Costco. We're at Costco. What'd you say we were? Costco. Oh, I thought you said something else. We're gonna go in Costco. This is our first time ever. We'll check it out and um, see what it's all about. Yeah, the gas pumps here are like. The gas pumps are like 20 cars pump? per gas pump waiting. Yeah, it's like oh, completely. I like, said, are they giving it away? Like, because they if just... they're giving it away, I want to get some. No, it's like funny though because like there's so many cars at the gas pump. Like, I feel seen like. Many cars at a gas pump I, know, I feel like intimidated going in here. We don't have a membership or anything. We're just going to go because I think you can go up there and tell them you're checking it out. If we can't, we'll just get embarrassed and have to leave. I think, but. I think 
friends, you can of our, do, friends of ours because like, they want because they were curious about Costco too, so they just went there and were like, we just want to like check it out, see if we want to. They're like, we just want to see if we want to buy the membership, so we, we want to go in here first. And they were like, yeah. okay, that's fine. We're so far out in the parking lot because I was like, it's so packed, like oh my gosh, and looking at it, super intimidating. Look how big it is. All right, so here's the parking lot. This is a big building. I'm excited though. I know. I'm just, like, I've heard a lot of people say that Costco is like really big and like really cool inside, but like I've never been here, so I have no clue. So they have like TVs and everything. Turn it around so everybody can see if they had never been to Costco. Like, like TVs and TVs. They have playgrounds back there. Do you see them for the backyard? What? Walk, Where? walk, up, up. Back there. Stop, they do. They have like playgrounds for your backyard. Guys, we probably sound so stupid. All of you are probably like, it's Costco, like yeah, duh. Yeah, but like, yeah. I've never been here before, so this is like all new to me. And, but yeah, we're in here shopping and getting it done. So if anything interesting happens, then we'll let you know. We'll let you know. So that's the playground I was talking about. It's a full size playground in this place. Like, what the heck is what? Aiden wants one for the backyard, so he's trying to get one, but. Okay, so my take on Costco, I'm gonna give you my a little a tidbit for just a second. It is, watch out, A. Hey. Sorry. Oh, you're totally fine. Thank you. It is like totally overwhelming. I'm asking you to okay. place that for Christmas. You gonna ask for that? Yep. That sounds cool. But it's like, watch out, baby. It's like totally overwhelming. There's just so much going on and so many items like you could come in here and spend hours and i don't know if you'd see it all not, and yes i got a car not a <laughs> you're not a fan no. Whew, i don't know that was a lot but it's a lot to take in but it's a good okay. store it's a cool store i'm not saying it's not i'm just saying it's a lot to take in i am done Bradley. you've got me laughing so hard okay like so tell them you're at the for anybody who loves Costco, just either don't watch or watch and just hate on me. I don't care. But literally oh everything, gosh. everything in there is for a giant. I'm gonna be honest. Those people are so like they. If you don't move out their way, they, they just, were rude. They just hit you in the ankles. Yeah, probably and got hit, hit in the out. ankles multiple times by people's cars. I was cars. like, if maybe if you used your words and said excuse me like a normal person, then you wouldn't have to hit my ankles, and I would know you're behind me. Like, how am I supposed to know you're the behind me? The checkout lines. In like that's same. why that's why I got hit the most. It's like I was standing in the checkout. We were standing mm. in the checkout line. Is that why you moved? Yes, because there was people walking by me. They were just like, and then would look at me, and I'm like, yes. If you, maybe like, if you said excuse me, or can, can you move out of my way if you want to say it rudely? Then say move out of my way, and I'd be like, okay, that's fine. You don't have to hit me in the ankles to get me move out of the way. It was great. It was not great. I mean, like it was. If you're going in there to I buy, I had a full on anxiety attack. She did. Place. She is not. So she's not into big crowds like malls and things like that. No, I hate malls. Like malls so, just tear my like nerves. They like, tear I her nerves up. It. So I'm like, I get where she wasn't gonna like this. I already knew going in, she probably wouldn't. But I didn't realize it'd be that busy right now at lunchtime. But I guess a lot of people are on their lunch shopping. Woo! The lines were crazy. That was our Costco adventure. Was, a, did you like it? Nope. You didn't like it either. That was the most ridiculous. My, hold on a minute. My other thing too though about as far as shopping there, like for us, we don't have this big pantry. I don't know where I'd store half that stuff unless the we put stuff the in the garage. were like they this big and they had like 40 bags. Four, it. it was 44 bags of popcorn. If you went to Publix or like Food Line, you could go and get like four bags for the exact same price. Here's the and thing though. Okay. No, you are going to save here. That's the purpose of it, or people wouldn't shop here. You're gonna save here, you're gonna get a lot more, and you're gonna save, but I mean, is the savings worth the hassle no. of going there to go shop? I was like. Maybe not. Well, instead of being like, excuse if you me, love Costco, then you love it. We are That's sorry. Fine. It wasn't that we hated it, it was just I need to come early in the morning not when they first place. open and it's not so busy. Not our place. It just, it, it was a little busy and it's like it was a little chaotic. The carts were so big, like I'm so short, the carts were up to here to me. I walked I was up, like, I felt like a little kid pushing the cart. I walked I need to bring Barry, what? that's what I told her. I said, if I brought Barry, I'd have loved it. And I told Mama, I said, you know? there was, I said, if they had normal sized food, they wouldn't need such a big cart. Like, I, I had that Mom, stuff in there, I couldn't even lift. I told okay? Mom. 
could not even lift it. At the it. beginning, when she went to go get a car, I said, you're going to have to push the car, because I can already tell. She said, I'm and, not pushing it. Yeah, because usually I push the car for it, and I'm fine oh, with that. Oh, bro. But usually I can push a car like a, like normal, but I told Mama, as soon as we got there, I just saw the amount of people that were already in there, and I said, you're going to have to push the car, because if I try to push this car, I'm literally going to have a panic attack. And I still did. I still had an anxiety attack. It's okay. We made it. But it's whatever. We did it. We conquered it. And we now know how we feel. So, I still like Costco. I think it's a cool place. They sell everything you need under one roof. But I don't think I'd come back and do a full-on grocery shopping without, like, Barry to help me. Because a lot of that stuff's so big, you almost need two carts if you're getting a bunch of stuff. And then I don't know where I'd put those size things when I get home. Our garage would be full of food. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. How that, big were these people's pantries? Like, they must huge. be, like, a whole king-size or a master bedroom. Like, you see their carts? They were, those carts are huge, and they had oh, to feel. I can't lift the stuff's my problem. I said it was huge. Well, the bud, you see the boxes of snaps? Usually we get, like, the cheese and things. Yeah. Like, we usually get a bag that's, you know, like, a normal size bag. There was some girl over there. She put in the bag, and it was like, she was, like, carrying it with two hands. I was like, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just tried to get Briley. It didn't work. Should have known it wasn't going to. Came up here to finally make my bed for the day, and I took in. Slid the clothes basket down the stairs. I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, maybe. Half the clothes fell out, but it's okay. It got to the bottom, and I said, ow, ow, my leg. And Bradley goes, she says, you're at the top of the stairs, mom. I'm like, no, I'm not. She don't even come check on me. So I could be laying on the floor right now with a broke leg, and nobody cares. Bradley, are you not even gonna check on me? How do you know it's the laundry basket? I'm laying here with my broke leg. Come check on me, Briley. I fell halfway down the steps. Briley, come check on me. You don't love me. You're standing perfectly fine. Your leg is not broken. If you love me, you would have checked on me. I did check. I looked around. So you knew it wasn't me. Yeah, because the way it was falling, you, if you had to go to my, it was just like, oh, oh, oh. it had a rhythm. I was like, I don't think you would be like planning her fall. I mean, I don't think you'd be going. I had to have a rhythm. You don't. If you fall, you're just gonna fall. Tired already? Jump. Jumping on trampoline makes me feel old. I don't know why it wears me out. Like, I used to jump on trampolines in the middle of the summer well, guys, for like. Jump on them. No, I'm talking about when I was younger, Please. my Please. mom would take me to Please. a trampoline place. Please. I'm about to lose my shoe. I have on my bedroom shoes, guys. She would take me to a trampoline place when I was little. And it was outside, hot, June, July. And we'd pay like for the hour. And sometimes I would go out there and she'd pay for three hours and just let me jump. And my mom would sit in the car and just wait for me to jump. She had nothing to entertain her now. There were no electronics. So, I appreciate her doing that. I used to love it. We need to get the broom. Bradley's going to get the broom. Then I think she's going to show some tricks. Yeah, we need to, like, brush this off. It's kind of bothering me. What? No, we're going to jump, but I want to clean it off first. Okay? Okay, Briley's back. She's gonna show us some tricks. Now, what is this one you're doing? Back handspring step out. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, they didn't know, but actually, um, when I was doing my gymnastics stuff, mm -hmm. um, the guy that was my trainer, he helped me out he doing did. a backflip. And Aiden did a backflip. Really I know. Well, not by myself. Yeah, it's hard to do it by yourself. You've got food. <laughs> like, all is Doritos. He ate Doritos in the car. you got food yeah. all over you. Okay. Hey, zip that back up for me, buddy. Go read. She's in a book, and which is great. I, you know, totally love it when they read. Um, but she won't sit in here with me and read it in the living room. She's like, everybody's in here. Aiden was even nice and went and got his headphones. I'm going to be doing some work on the computer. I'm you not going to be loud. Comprehend anything. By me just sitting in the same room? 
Because then you're going to try and, oh gosh, I'm so, you're going to try and talk to me and she's going to TV and then it's just going to be a lot. Okay, fine. Then just go to your room. Bye. I can go in the kitchen. Just go to your room if you want to. You need to clean your room. Did you see it? Those tiny things? Are they bouncing? Good, yeah. See, they're bouncing. Where? On the ground, if you watch them bounce. I saw it earlier when you said something. Yeah, they're... It's hailing outside. We didn't know it was gonna come up a storm today. You guys hear the thunder? Ooh, it's like cold rain. Well, I don't mind the rain right now because we have nowhere to go, right? You guys, can you see? Look how big that hail is, my car. <gasps> my car, oh my God, look at it. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta go meet my car. Oh my gosh. What? Listen at it. Mom, look at that hail. Mama, my car. My car can be up. Just got damaged. Hold this. Did you see how big that hail was? Oh my gosh. You guys, I just got like soaking wet. I don't even know if she's still filming. Yes, yeah, she is. Did you? Who probably couldn't even see it? Now it quits. Of course. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. Yeah, there's like a big chunk of ice on the car. Man, that was cold. Where are you at? I'm freezing. Oh my gosh, that was the coldest rain. Yeah, that is eerie. It's like hand Are we under like bad weather or something? I haven't even checked. It just said, I went and looked because I saw it started raining and I went and checked and it said we're just supposed to have like damaging weather rain. It quit hailing as soon as I got my car in. Did you notice it? I was like, I think it's okay. I'm going to go check everybody's or mine and yours once. It stops. What if the windshield's cracked? I don't think it is. Yeah, but like that little rock cracked yours. I know, I know, but like I'm hoping that hill wasn't enough to do damage, but it was pretty big. Yeah. I'm not lying. When I ran out, what? It was really big. I know, it was. It was bigger than I was expecting. That's why I took off running. It was, yeah. I don't know. It's starting to slow down. We can go out there and check if you want to to see if it did anything. Hopefully it didn't damage anything. I don't, I can't tell on mine because it's so like wet. I need it to kind of dry for a minute. Then I'm going to look. Um, let's go outside and check yours real quick. So we just came back in the house and I don't know, I guess because the garage door is open. Whatever was outside just flew in the house and now we're walking around trying to figure out what it is. You see anywhere? And it was flying fast and it was big. Oh my gosh. Man, it is always something. Do you hear me? Like the sun is shining. Like so bright, like nothing happened. We got it. We got it. It was um a huge, huge fly. What's wrong? Bruh? I know. I think it's okay. I think mine's okay too. And it's gotten really cold outside. You feel it? Yes, I told you when I was in. That's gosh. what I said to you when I ran out. I said, Mom, it's cold. I think it's okay, Briley. I think so. Look at the thing real tough. Why are you rushing? Because I want to go upstairs and see what happens to Luke and Aubrey. Look, Annie's finally. Annie. Aiden, you have three of us. You have us all on lawnmowers. Yeah, you ready? I'm sorry, go. He's finally starting to admit his feet. He's going to drop us. He's going to take us and drop us. I'm listening, guys. He's finally starting to admit his feelings for her, and I just want to see what happens. And she's going to his football game, and I really want to see. Does he like fight somebody yeah. for her because I think he does but like I really want to see if he fights somebody for her why'd you jump off? I didn't mean to because he's going to drop us oh to. he's playing too? I was wondering if he knows yeah. who he was how can you pick me back up? you can't you're on the ground somewhere oh he dropped you too Come on, I'll he's dro he dropped me in the pool he does that every single time Ew. that's mean Come on, okay, well, I'm sorry I didn't mean to hit can it can you leave now? he said you can leave now He's already kicking you out of the game. Why are you kicking me out of the game? Wow. Yeah, well, I'm going back you always tell me that to I be need, lazy you and always, go watch you some more YouTube. <gasps> we have to watch Sam and Colby's video. They came up with another oh. one about clowns. Ah! 
Well, that hotel that, plan might sound good. <laughs> it's not that good. You want me to? You didn't like. No, don't tell me what happens. I'm gonna watch no, it. No, I just want to tell you. <laughs> don't. Just, just a little. Just no. a little. Hey, listen to me. Guys, cut the camera. Cut the camera. Okay. No, do not wait, tell wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. So, um. Don't tell me what wait, happens. Wait, 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 Mom, I really want to talk to you. What are you talking about? Mom, I need to He pranked. You told me. Ow, let go. What did you? You always tell me that I need to stop being on TikTok and Instagram and all that stuff and I need to read more. He cried. But now, you always tell me that I need to get off of TikTok and Instagram and I need to start TikTok, reading TikTok. more and I need to start doing something other than TikTok and stuff. But then when I start reading, you get mad at me for reading. I'm not mad at you for reading. Who did I say that? Get out you're, of my face. You're keeping me from reading. I'm not. Go to your room. Go to I your room. I need to know we're eating. Okay. Bye. Okay. Technically, you're all keeping I'm going to my room. room. You're going to your room? Why yeah, are you going you to your can, room? You can watch it by yourself. You're not going to watch it with can me? Can somebody please watch it that good? Sam and Cody's got a new video. Doing? He watched it this morning. And I said, no, wait for I me. Not. Yesterday morning? Yeah. What are we Yesterday doing? morning. I and I wanted to watch it with him. It's not that good. Wait. Hold on, they, Riley. Okay, so they, um. Do not tell me. So we just watched the Sam and Colby's new video. The Sam and Colby's. Do you know what I said? Mm-hmm. Sam and Colby's new video. I'm like really tired. What time is it? Do you know? Look at your phone. It's like 10, 20. Do the cracks in my screen bother you? Yes. I know. It's like I want to go up there and like wipe it off and it won't. And you can't. I've got to get my camera fixed, you guys. It's so bad. I am hashtag stressed. Right now? Yeah. Why? I just have so much to do. And like, like tonight? I don't want to do it tonight. What I don't even know do? where. I don't know where to even start is the problem. What is it? The project. Oh, you need to work on it this weekend a lot. I know. I gotta go tomorrow morning, possibly buy me an outfit for tomorrow night. Are you going? Yeah. <laughs> is that fine, mommy? <laughs> what? We were supposed to try a new restaurant tomorrow night. She's totally gonna diss me. Mama! We want new restaurant! PDQ. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed our vlog, please hit the thumbs up, leave us a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog.